Welcome everyone to a sad day in the Minecraft community. Actually it was yesterday, but I did not have time to record it yesterday, so it's today, alright? Today is the sad day. However, Mineplex has officially shut down for Java Edition. I'm not sure about Bedrock Edition, but probably there as well. You know what? If you don't know what uh, Mineplex was, then my friend, let me educate you. It was the biggest server back in the days, before Hypixel, before any of the other servers. It actually was one of the biggest back in the days. It was created uh, in 2013 and is now officially shut down in 2023. Meaning it's been up in service for 10 years, which is quite a big number, number of days and so on. However, basically it's just, it's, it was 10 years older than me, which means I've survived 7 more years than Mineplex. <laughs> get owned, get on my level, cause GG easy. Alright, however, let's play some Bed Wars on, on Hypixel. Server that probably made sure Mineplex went down in the grave. However, let's go ahead and with some gaming. So, what does a shutdown mean? Well, it means you can no longer access it, so you can no longer play on it, you cannot the website, I believe they took away the website as well, you can no longer see your stats. So people that have played on Mineplex for 10 years, wasting 10 years of their life getting stats there, well, good job, they're gone. Just like your pa- Nah, but it's just, it's a bit sad and weird, I mean, they didn't, they didn't really have to shut down, but the weirdest thing is that they didn't really have a really, a true send-off. We did see a shutdown of server not that long ago, actually. It was, I think it was last year or year before that, or maybe it was this year. I, it was absolutely not this year, never mind. The Hive people. You remember the Hive, the server that, that was, that had quite good, uh, my god, what the hell. Now, but the Hive not long ago shut down as well, being, well, probably the beginning of the shutdowns with the servers of 1.8 PvP. Uh, because the Hive had, I, f I play on the Hive a lot, I played some stuff, I think the Hive is still up and running for Bedrock Edition. No longer on Java Edition though, which is because they did not get enough players. Which is probably the same reason why uh, Mineplex shut down. But why they didn't get enough players? Well, I'm standing in the reason. Hypixel people. Got a lot of players, alright? Back in the days, Mineplex was the biggest one, alright? And back in the days when Mineplex was the biggest, Hypix was just an upcoming opponent of the throne, I guess you could say. And with Hypix getting quite a more updates, quite new more stuff before Mineplex, meaning a lot of people started playing here because it got way more popular amongst YouTubers, meaning a lot of people started playing here because they saw their favorite YouTubers start playing on these servers, uh, including someone that chose to play on Hypixel instead of Mineplex, which I think was one of the first being Technoblade. So Technoblade started playing on my Hypixel before, I think his first video was on Mineplex, but he started playing on Hypixel, not far after. After that, meaning when he got p popular, a lot of people switched over to Hypixel instead. Also, we may also say this guy rests his soul, and well, I'm just saying it's just YouTubers nowadays is it, such a huge like thing. If you start a server in Minecraft and you don't have YouTubers or if you don't create content, that server won't get get people playing on it. I'm sorry, it's it's just the case of today's Minecraft servers. It's just have you heard of the new ones? No, you have not. The only ones you heard of about is probably Lifesteal SMP. You probably, it, it's not that new anymore actually. You probably heard of Donut SMP, there's also had, and um, that's very good of me. You probably heard of Donut SMP, they had, they had like, I think the, the owner makes YouTube Twitch and stuff like that, I don't know. It seems kind of like a prick to be honest, but I'm, I'm not gonna say anything, I'm probably worse. No, but it's just, a lot of servers nowadays, they, they gotta have YouTubers play on them. And Mineplex had the occasional visits of YouTubers. Going back, trying Mineplex, why Mineplex sucks. These are the classic videos you can see from Mineplex. And that was not a good view. I'm sorry, it's, a, it's just not a good thing when like hundreds of YouTubers make videos saying it's dead and stuff. It may get some people want to play on it again, just to like get some nostalgic, but it's not gonna give the, the high amounts of viewers, you know. It's just, it was just not the case, and still not really the biggest type of YouTubers played on Mineplex at the time of its shutdown anyway, so it was just... 
I guess it was sort of doomed to happen. But something I found weird is some people have said they shut down the Bedrock Edition too. But the Bedrock Edition actually got quite a lot of players. I think their, their average was like 4,000 players. Making it a bit weird. It also shut down and not only the Java Edition. You know, I'm not a game designer or, or server owner, so I don't really know how it works. But I guess it's like... I think they just shut everything down, to be honest, since the website is also shut down and so on. Which I found weird, but you know, it's it's not my thing to put my nose there, so I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna talk too much about that one. Other than that, I did not really have much relations to Mindplex specific. I used to watch some people play it. I was used to, used to watch Captain Sparkles play on it uh, a bit. And then I stopped because I, 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 for some reason, I had like a childhood. Other than that, which is, yeah, I know it's insane. Stop with the fireballs. And it's, it's, he survived. Uh, it's just... People on this, they can't even die. They ca they cannot even die, people. It's just... It's just not... Okay, you see... Can you, can you be like Mindplex and like die? Oh yeah, I, I would have fallen for that but very much. Okay. It's time for some button mashing. Okay, he's running away. Goodbye. Oh, he doesn't have a bed. Why is he so bold then? I don't understand. I don't understand stuff. Who is this? Why is it so laggy? Why is it? Why is it so la- I don't understand stuff. However, <laughs> it's sad that Mindplex is gone, but we still have Hypixel. But now I feel like if you're gonna count them out real quick, we had Hypixel, the Hive, and Mindplex. That was like the three big and only. I think it's like some of the only like PvP 1.8 servers making. I think Hypixel is the last stand for 1.8, and then it's like over. If Hypix shuts down, but I don't think it's gonna shut down since I think. Can you see the player count in game? But I have to leave to check it out. So I think I have to leave. So currently, Hypixel has 42,000 players. I think that is. Yep. Yeah. It's 500. Yep. Yeah. So I don't think we're gonna lose Hypix anytime soon, but I must say it's kind of sad we lost the rest. I gotta say that. What You know, it's just kind of sad to see it a complete regeneration of video gaming. Just disappear. All the stats people had is now gone. I guess it's just... It's a bit sad, I guess, yeah. Not for me, since I I'm, I did not play on Mindplex. But, you know, it is it is what it is. And I hope everyone that played on Mindplex, which is like 40 people nowadays, uh, get, some, get some good lives. Yeah. Alright, goodbye. See you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.